So yeah, part three. Um, you know, I truly do believe that um, if only people would just come out and live their truths, live your truth. The only way from your truth is not down, it's up. God loves people that lives in their truth. God loves people that are confirmation. God loves people that that are not afraid to stand in their testimony because if he brought you to it, he'll bring you through it. It's not the end of your journey. This is not the end of your life. You are so much more than your status. I don't care what status that is. Single mother, currently living in poverty, you got herpes, you got bipolar. I don't fucking know. AIDS, HIV, I don't, listen. We all have a testimony. And we have to stand in it. You have to tell your stories of how God brought you through it because somebody out there needs to hear your story. Somebody out there is hanging on to a fucking thread right now, trying to stay strong, asking God, why me? Going through the same shit you went through. So don't be afraid to tell your story. It's powerful to tell your story. Your story can help someone years and years and years to come after you are gone. Because see, what people don't understand about this world is that there will always be negative entities fighting against you. Trying to keep you down, trying to keep you small, trying to keep you scared. And right now, the devil is shaking in his fucking boots right now that I'm telling my fucking story. He is shaking in his fucking boots. Because the devil does not want you to rise above your struggles. The devil don't want you to be better. You sitting there scared and shaking in your boots. I can't tell my truth. The world is going to judge me. The devil is sitting there clapping like this. Pass me the motherfucking popcorn. This shit is good. He love all that shit. But when you take a stand for your motherfucking self, take a stand for God. Tell your truth. It's okay. Yes. People will decide that they don't want to fuck with you no more. That they don't want to love you. And that's okay. Those people are not meant to be in your life. I remember somebody told me this. A very special person in my heart told me this one day. They said, Raya, you don't have to be afraid to tell someone that you have herpes. You're a great person. People, there are people out there that will love you. But I didn't listen. I was still in low vibrational energy. And I'm real enough to admit that shit. I just want you guys to find the strength, find the courage to live in your truth. Tell your truth. It's okay. We all need to hear each other's stories. Sometimes you can be in so much pain. When you are when you have gone through traumatic things in your life, y'all, what happens is you can push it very deep deep down inside you to the point where you become delusional. 
you will become delusional and, and pretend as if these things didn't happen. But we need to stop living like that. Let's stop being delusional. Living your truth, you know? Whatever your story is, whatever happened to you, God has used it to make you stronger, you know? And if you don't think so, I'm going to ask you this. Are you still here today? Are you watching this video right now? So, there's your answer. You're still here. You're still strong. You're still great. You still have many opportunities here to rise above your struggles and rise above the negative energies that are trying to keep you down. I just want to be better. You know, we all make mistakes in this life. And I can admit when I fucked up. And I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry. To anybody that I've ever hurt. I, I'm so sorry. Like, I pray that anybody that I hurt can find it in their hearts to forgive me and know that if someone if someone hurts you it's because they're hurting many people hurt me in my fucking life many people I can't even fucking count I've lost count But I still choose to forgive them. I still choose to lead with love and light. And every day I ask God and my angels and ancestors, please help me, you know. I'm just trying to live. I'm just trying to live my best life. <sighs> so I know by some of y'all seeing this, these videos, I know somebody out there is going to do the right thing. Because I did the right thing. So when I spread love, when I spread light, when I spread truth, it's a ripple effect. There's no doubt about it. So I want to leave y'all with a song. I want to leave y'all with a song. Hold on. All right. I want y'all to.